Hi, my name is uh, Dwayne Keats. I'm from Ottawa, Canada. We're going to do a little demo today on short ribs. These are uh, Canadian Prime, so we use uh, it's the top 1% in uh, Canada. So you can tell by the marbling, this is the short ribs. So this piece is going to be a little tough, but we're going to braise it in the oven for about two to three hours on 300 degrees afterwards. So all that you want to do is grab a little bit of, I prefer canola oil, it doesn't have that rich olive flavor. And you want to make sure your pan is nice and hot. You want to get a nice color on the actual short rib. So what we're going to do is we're going to season it up. A little bit of kosher salt. A little bit of pepper. Now be careful whenever you're putting the short ribs in. You don't push them towards you because then you're going to get a little bit of oil on yourself. So you place them down. Put them away from yourself. So the secret is to let it cook evenly on, uh, for about two minutes on either side. And the secret to a nice tender braise is to have it even all the way around. Your bois is a little bit of Spanish onion, a little bit of celery, and carrot. So right there is about the color that you want evenly throughout the actual piece of meat. Today I brought a little insert that we're just going to heat up in the oven for. You just want to place your short ribs in there. And this is pretty well reduced down to nothing and you cook out the alcohol. Just going to throw your sauteed mirepoix, carrots, celery, and onion in there. So now you have something that kind of looks a little bit like this. I like sweet soy, it gives it a nice dark color. Uh, it tends to be a little bit thicker. I'm going to get a little bit of demi-glass and you want to submerge the actual meat. So before you put this in the oven, you just want to throw a couple fresh herbs. I tend to put a little bit of fresh thyme, some dried bay leaves, a little bit of rosemary. Today I brought the uh, Cipollini onions. I like them because they're a little smaller and sweeter. Uh, I brought some local asparagus. Uh, the secret to asparagus when they, uh, they're this long, you just break them. Wherever they break is where the woody part ends. So right there, I would clean it around there. I tend to peel them a little bit. So if you don't have a peeler available, you can always use the back of your knife. Oyster mushroom. Well, I was thinking when I was plating this dish on a little bit of color and uh, some yellow beets. So yellow beets, uh, it's not something that everybody enjoys. I tend to enjoy it because it always adds beautiful color to the plate. Okay, so now that our braised short ribs have been in the oven for three hours, Pull them out of the oven, and if you get any resistance, you poke them in, you get any resistance, that means they're not cooked. So you can see how it's pretty well fall off the bone, which it just did, it means it's good to go. With any braise, I tend to use uh, mashed potatoes. In these mashed potatoes, I did equal part butter and cream, so it's going to be nice, rich, and creamy. I'm just going to lay down some veg. So now we have our Cipollini onions. All that I did was cut off the bottoms and then the outer skin just comes right off. So we're just gonna bring our little braising liquid over here. Pour a little bit on. That's a simple dish that you can throw in the oven, go play with your kids or fool around in the backyard, do whatever you wanna do and come back and it's good to go.